Ah, uh, if you just enter into the altar, begin to just thank God in your room, wherever you find yourself. Lift up your voice and worship Him. Lift up your yes. voice and adore Him in Woo. the mighty name of Jesus. Something is about to happen in your life that will give you a testimony, a lasting testimony. I love ah, you a joy, forever. joy unspeakable, full of glory. Something is about to forever. burst open. Something is about to change you in your life. Something is about forever. to turn around. The hand, the hand of the Lord is about to touch you in a unique way, in a unique manner that has never forever. happened before. And as you have entered into the altar, I just want you to be in prayer. Begin to, begin to glorify God. Begin to worship Him. Begin to honor and adore Him. Lift up your voice and begin to speak in the mystery. Glory begin to speak, to open God. your lips, somebody. Begin to speak oh, words. To begin to God. utter spirit words. Hey, utter words like a son and a daughter God. of covenant. Begin Forever. to make praise. Begin to make worship in your heart. Begin we to make the spirit. Stir up the spirit in yourself God. right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory Lord, we give you glory. La prega zone de la capa. Somebody begin to speak up. Begin to speak up. Begin to speak up. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. tonight today is a warfare night there is not going to be any delay there is not going to be any delay it is a prophetic declaration warfare night hallelujah prophetic declaration warfare night this one is time to open your lips and to make prayer I want us to prepare ourselves it is a time of battle look I said, I said, if you listen to some of the videos, the past audios that we did in the, the last two weeks, there is something that we need to touch. Somebody say something that we need to touch. Something that we need to touch. Yes, there is something in your life that has been bothering you. That is a cause of concern that you need to touch. There is something that we need to pull down. There is some altar somewhere that needs to be destroyed. There is some spirit somewhere that has been hunting your life, following you. That needs to vacate. That needs to advise themselves that this place, this person, I'm no longer going to follow the person. There is something that needs to be destroyed. There is some covenant somewhere that needs to be broken. There is some connection and some ties with the kingdom of darkness that needs to be destroyed. Hallelujah. Something must happen. There must be a separation. There must be a dividing line. And how will that happen? Without me and you, our direct involvement. It cannot happen without me and you, our direct involvement. We must open our lips, our voice, and make all trances. All trances of prayer of faith. Hallelujah. He said, the prayer of faith will save the sick. The prayer of faith. Hallelujah. But before that, I want us to read John chapter 8, the verse 12. John chapter 8, verse 12. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, my Rabbi Katia Katoko. 
Lebra hayaka teke bayata te. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Oh, we give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Oh, we give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Hallelujah. He reigns, he reigns. He reigns. Oh, we give glory to the Lord. He reigns. John chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follow me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Somebody look at that scripture once again and read it to yourself. Read it and read it until that scripture enter you. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He that shall follow him shall no longer walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Yes, yes, yes. I will just talk a little, two minutes, two minutes, and we are going to start prayer. I'm going to provoke you. Many Christians, many people are following Jesus, or they say they follow Jesus, but they are in darkness. What is happening? It is an error. Somebody say an error. Error. Yeah. It is an error to follow Jesus and still walk in darkness. Yeah. It is an error. It means there is something wrong somewhere. Something is not working well somewhere. Why should I follow Jesus and still walk in darkness? It means... I, it's either I am not truly following him. I am the light of the world. He that follow me will no longer walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. May you become that light. May you carry that light. May you carry that light. Tonight, you are going to take that light. You are going to follow Jesus. You are going to take follow the Lord and as you are following him his light is going to lead you his light will lead you his light will lead you to the place where they have buried your destiny his light will lead us to the place where they have buried your glory his light will lead you to the place to your business your career his light is going to lead you to that desired destiny his light is going to lead you to deliverance his light will lead you out of darkness his light will separate you from the kingdom of darkness. I am a follower of Jesus. I cannot be in darkness. I am a follower of Jesus. I cannot be in darkness. I follow Jesus. I renounce darkness. Anything that is not of God, renounce it. Look, when you follow Jesus, you must do everything possible to get contact with the light. Somebody say, contact the light. Contact the light. The light of God is shining. The light of God is shining, but man must contact the light. Man must receive the light. Man must get hold of the light. He said, if you are my follower, if you are a true follower of me, if you have faith in me, you will shine. If you have faith in me, you will overcome darkness. If you have faith in me, demons, they will bow to you. If you have faith in me, sickness and affliction will bow. If you have faith in me, poverty will bow. If you have faith in me, any form of harassment from the pit of hell, it shall end. It shall come to an end. There is an end to every disaster. There is an end to every shame. There is an end to every harassment in our lives and that is when we begin to follow jesus in truth and in spirit my god by fire you will shine you will shine look somebody must be desperate enough to contact the light don't just sit around jesus don't just monitor jesus there are people who are monitoring jesus tell somebody don't monitor jesus Follow him. Don't monitor him. Follow him. Don't don't just be a spy. Don't be a spy to Jesus. 
follow him, go to him, shake his hands and say, Lord, here I am, set me free. Lord, here I am, clothe me. Lord, here I am, anoint me. Lord, here I am, cleanse me, purge me, deliver me, wash me. By the time he finished dealing with you, when you are going with him, you are light. Tonight, we have two assignments. The first assignment is that, Lord, anything that is denying me from shining, Lord, take it away from me. Just two minutes prayer. After that, we are going to enter into the kingdoms. Anywhere they have tied your destiny. From the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered the violence, but the violent take it by force. You take your blessing by force. You kick those demons out. You kick those witches out. You kick their powers. You destroy their spells. You destroy their enchantment. You destroy their pronouncement. You renounce their power. You break their curses. You break through by fire, by force. In the name of Jesus, you take your career. You take your marital destiny. You take your children's health. Anything that the devil has laid his filthy hands upon, after you have begun to work well, after you have begun to embrace Jesus well, you can take anything that you want on this earth. If you want to be the president, you can become. If you want to be the prime minister, you can become. If you want to be the secretary general, you can become. If you want to be the, the most anointed man of God in this world, you can become. Follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. Embrace Jesus. Love Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight, we are going to pray. Right now. Oh Lord, disconnect me. I disconnect myself from whatever that is stopping me from following you. Anything that is stopping me. My doubt, my fears, my unbelief. Anything that I am, anything that is a weakness in me. That is stopping me from serving you and seeing your light shining through me. Oh Lord, purge me, separate me, ah, cleanse me. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Pray that prayer right now. Even the, 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 the spells of darkness, anything that Satan has put in you, that is not making you to see his glory. Anything that they have put in you, as we are praying now, open up your spirit. Open up your heart. Because something will happen to you. It is not man. Whatever we are going to do here is not by might. It is not by power, but by his spirit. Yes. Our own, in our own work is to be desperate in the spirit. Somebody say be desperate. Your own job to be desperate, to be angry, to be aggressive. Those aggressiveness doesn't mean that we are using our own strength. It means we understand the faith we understand the God we serve and we understand the breakthrough that is before us, that we are not getting it. It means we understand that there is a blessing that you must be walking in by now. You are not walking in that blessing. It means you have to be aggressive. There is some, there is some promotion, there is some seat that you should be sitting on. That you are not sitting on that seat. Why? You have been dislodged. You have been sidelined by demons. You have been sidelined by witches. Some, some petty, petty darkness has blocked you from having access to that blessing. But tonight, just begin to pray, Lord, purge me. I disconnect myself from uncleanness. I disconnect myself from fear, from doubt. Some of you, your biggest problem is doubt. You have doubted God. You have doubted even yourself. You have even doubted that you, are, you yourself, you are a human being. You have doubted that you can even breathe. But you are briefing every day. Sometimes you doubt that you are briefing. Sometimes you doubt that you can even get food to eat. But you are eating every day. You have doubted God to the point that you doubt yourself. I want you to pray. Deliver yourself. Lord, help my unbelief. Remove doubt from me. I want to follow you. I want to see your light shine in me. Begin to pray that prayer right now. Lord, deliver me from fear, from unbelief, from all unrighteousness. Anything that has been blocking me. 
slumber, lukewarmness, anything that has been blocking me, anything that has been stopping me from seeing your glory in my life. Oh Lord, separate me now by the precious blood of Jesus. Purge me, cleanse my tongue, cleanse my spirit, cleanse my heart. Let my words be fire. Let my thoughts be fire. Let my thoughts be pure. Oh Lord, purge me, cleanse me, sanctify me in your Holy Ghost. Sanctify my feet, sanctify my heart, sanctify my hands. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray. The Bible said in Psalm 24, Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, he that has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, O oh Lord, purge me, O oh Lord, separate me unto your holy use. Prepare me as a vessel for your kingdom. Prepare me as a vessel in your your hands prepare me Lord by your precious blood cleanse me from head to toe Lord Lord anything that is not making me to please you anything that is not making my life to bring glory to you deliver me oh Lord I have been stopped for a while. I have been hindered for a while. I have been limited. My vision has been limited. My progress has been limited. My anointing has been limited. Oh Lord, deliver me from whatever that is denying me access. Deliver me, oh Lord, by your blood. Whatever that is denying me access to your glory. Whatever that is denying me access to the light. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Cleanse me. Have mercy, Lord. Purge my feet. Remove my anger. Remove my fear. Remove my bitterness. Remove my doubt. Remove my immorality. Remove my masturbation. Remove my fornication. Remove anything that is stopping me from seeing your glory. Oh, Lord, purge my mind from all corruptors, perverse thinking, any wasted times, laziness, bitterness, uncleanness, in the name of Jesus, purge me, O Lord. Kadoze baratasa la brakato kobala haya rekete kete 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 eruka baratasa. Pray, O Lord, purge me. I want to hear you pray. Somebody pray, Lord, purge me. Purge me, O Lord. Hey, don't listen to me. Pray, oh, I am praying for myself, oh. I am crying for myself, oh. Lord, heal me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, separate me. Bring me closer to your fire. Bring me closer to your holy fire. Bring me closer to your presence. Lekita Katoko. Bring me closer to where angels dwell. Bring me closer to where the elders dwell. Oh Lord, bring me onto the holy mountains. The mountain of your righteousness, uh, the mountain of your purity, the mountain of your authority. Oh Lord, bring me to that place. Uh, you are a man of God. Pray that the Lord will separate you. The Lord will take you up. Uh, may you ascend uh, higher in the name of Jesus. Uh, may you rise. Uh, may you rise. Uh, may you rise. Uh, may you come out of the miracle. May you come out of the place of disgrace uh, and reproach May your words carry power. May your prayer carry power. May your worship carry power. Somebody pray. Lord, let my life uh, bring glory to you. Separate me unto yourself. Uh. Separate me unto yourself. Erika uh. toko balasata. I stand by the covenant uh, in the blood. Uh. Lord, purge me. Purge me. Purge me. Somebody, your eyes uh, is restored. Uh. Your vision must be restored. Uh. Your ability to hear God's voice uh, is restored. Uh. Because because of his mercy, because of his blood. Lord, bring us closer. Somebody pray. I want to hear you pray. Aduga balaka pelaya, rakato kubala zanda baha, rakata kaya kasa kata, labraka to kubala zada, e rakato mahaya kata, rekama se prakapa. Some of you don't understand. If you are not prepared. If you are not paid very well, 
you can't follow Jesus. Uh. If you are not sanctified, uh, you can't follow Jesus. Uh. If you are not cleansed uh, by his blood, uh, you can't follow Jesus. Uh. Oh Lord, cleanse me. If you are not disconnected, uh, if you have not forsaken your old ways, uh, he said, uh, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself uh, the pleasures of this world, uh, the lust of this world, uh, the things of this world, uh, and take up his cross uh, and begin to follow me. Uh. You can't walk in the light. Uh. You can't follow Jesus. Uh. You can't shine uh, if you have not denied yourself uh, the things of this world, uh, the pleasures, uh, the gossip, uh, the fornications, uh, the immorality, the fear, the doubt, uh, the unbelief, the flesh. Uh, if you have not denied yourself, uh, you can't go the next one mile. Uh, you can't go to the light. Uh, you can't walk in the light. Uh, you can't dwell in the light. Uh, pray. Somebody pray. Lord, separate me by your mercy, by your blood. Somebody pray. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him take up his cross and begin to follow me. Lord, your blood, let it purge me. Lord, your blood, let it separate me. Lord, your blood, let it cleanse me. Lord, your blood, let it speak for me. Lord, your blood, somebody cry to him. Lord, your blood, let it speak for me. That ancestral altar in my family that is still following me around. Lord, your blood, let it separate me by your precious blood. Let it separate me. That witchcraft altar, that witchcraft initiation that you are still connected to. You are still connected to witches. Oh, Lord, your blood, let it separate me by the precious blood. I separate myself. I disconnect myself. That nightmare that you keep on having. Lord, your blood, I stand on the holy blood. I stand by the precious blood. I disconnect myself from which come initiation from which can control from demonic control from ancestral control somebody pray the altars in your family are still after you how can you walk in light the demons in your village uh, they are still following you how can you walk in light uh, the spirits in the waters uh, they are still following you how can you walk in the light uh, tonight uh, lord by the blood of the covenant uh, we separate ourselves uh, unto you by the blood of the covenant uh, we separate our bodies uh, unto you by the blood of the covenant uh, we present our minds uh, unto you uh, Cleanse our conscience, uh, cleanse our conscience uh, from dead works. Uh. Somebody pray, oh Lord, cleanse my conscience uh, from dead works. Uh. Cleanse my conscience, uh, purge my conscience uh, from dead works. Uh. Somebody cry to God, uh, you need this deliverance tonight. Uh. You need this freedom today. You need this salvation today. Hey, Kapalege Zahaya, it is a warfare, deliverance, prophetic night. Uh. You are praying your life uh, into your deliverance. Uh. You are praying your life. Uh, into your freedom. Lord, your precious blood, separate me. Lord, by your blood, cleanse me. Lord, by your blood, let every darkness in my life be cut off. Be cut off. Somebody pray. By the blood. By the blood, every darkness in me be cut off. Every demon in me be destroyed, be disconnected. By the blood, by the blood, any form of connection, demonic connection, ungodly alliance. Lord, by the blood of the covenant, I disconnect myself. Some of you, the covenant is deaf. Some of you, the covenant is setback. Some of you, the covenant is limitation. Some of you, the the covenant is failure. Some of you, the covenant is rejection. Lord, by the blood, I break every ungodly covenant, ungodly ties, demonic covenants, demonic sickness, demonic affliction, the spirit of death, the spirit of setback, promise and fail. Lord, by your blood, separate me, Lord. Separate me, Lord, by the blood of your covenant. Lord, disconnect me. Somebody pray. Be aggressive. Let me hear you pray. Let me hear somebody pray. Pray until you fall under the power of God. Pray until the Holy Ghost slay you. Pray until the power of God take over your body. 
Ekute ke bazuda atabalige zaya la braka toko balahaya. Lord, by the blood of the covenant, every curse in me been broken. Lord, by the blood of Jesus, every form of initiation, ungodly alliance, alliance with witches, alliance with wizards, alliance with altars in my family, in my village. Lord, by your blood, let it be broken. Let it be broken by the blood of Jesus. Let it be broken. Disconnect yourself and get hold of the light. Disconnect yourself and pursue after the light. Disconnect yourself and begin to walk in light. Oh Lord, by your blood, I refuse to walk in darkness. I refuse to remain in darkness. I refuse to walk in darkness. I refuse to be controlled and dominated by the spirit of darkness. Lord, by the blood, I reject sickness. I reject death. I reject poverty. I reject setback. Promise and fail. Marry and remarry. Disappointment in marriage. Disappointment in business. Disappointment in ministry. Disappointment in career. Lord, by your blood, separate me. Let that covenant be broken. Let that curse be broken. Let that connection be broken. Hey, somebody pray. The power of God is coming upon you. Anywhere you are, pray. I want to hear you pray. Katuke bele gaya. Hey, ya bada 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 bada. If any man will follow after Jesus, you will no longer walk in darkness. Pursue after Jesus by his blood, by his blood, by his blood. We disconnect ourselves from altars of evil. Hey, that curse that has been hanging in your life, it has delayed in your life. Today, disconnect yourself. <laughs> By the blood of Jesus, I disconnect myself from failure. Every covenant with failure, every covenant with rejection, every covenant with disappointment, I disconnect myself uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, every covenant uh, with sickness, uh, every covenant with death, uh, by the blood of Jesus, uh, we disconnect ourselves. Uh, I disconnect anyone that is here on this platform by the blood of Jesus. Uh, any covenant with witches, uh, any covenant with demons, uh, any covenant with any unclean spirit, uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, be be release, be release, be release, be release, be release, be release by the blood. Somebody pray. Kadabada bada bada bada. Yakatoko balagaza. Yakataka balagazi gidagada. Labraga zagada galaga zagada. Rakatoko balagaziata. Baru sepeta kapa. Labro kapokate. E prakatoko balagaza. E prakataka ligaza. Raso toto tolaba. The blood of the covenant is speaking for me. I am no longer condemned. The blood of the covenant is speaking for me. I am no longer in darkness. The blood of the covenant is speaking for me. I am no longer in bondage. The blood of the covenant is speaking for me. I am no longer sick. I am no longer bound. I am free. Somebody declare. Barubata bata bata bata. Zeketeke balagaya. Hallelujah. Amen. Look. You must be aggressive enough to embrace the light. You must be angry enough. I mean holy anger. You must be desperate enough to break free from that cage. Look, we can't afford to be in this kingdom and still be in bondage. We can't afford to be in this kingdom and still be in the hands of witches. We can't afford to be in this kingdom and still be manipulated by darkness. Hey, may your light shine brighter. Right now, we are about to invade. We are about to invade. Somebody say invade. Invade. Yes. You are about to invade the kingdom of darkness. Anywhere they have tied your glory down. Oh Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the authority in the blood of Jesus, 
I step into any place where they have tied my destiny down, where they have tied my glory down, where they have tied my favor down, where they have tied your finances down, where they have tied your joy down, where they have tied your health down, where they have tied your marriage down, where they have tied your children down, wherever they tie my glory, wherever they tie my marital glory, my career glory, my financial glory, ministry glory, any glory of yours that the demons, the witches have tied down by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, uh, we enter there, we release it now, we release it now, somebody begin to release it, anything that belongs to me, my glory, wherever it is, I've been tied, wherever it has been caged, I command it to be released right now, I command it to be released right now, somebody pray, let me hear you pray, unmute yourself and pray, fire a prayer, Rakatoko Balagaza, wherever your career has been tied, anything that you know that has been tied down in your life, some of you, your own body, your soul has been tied down. Oh Lord, wherever they tie my soul by the blood of Jesus, I command it to be released. I command it to be released. Anywhere they tie my destiny, I command it to be released by the blood of Jesus. Pray, somebody pray, open your mouth and command it. Command it to come out. Command it to come out. I'm not feeling you. Open, unmute yourselves and pray. Rakatoko balahaya. Rakataka zigidaka zogoba. Anywhere they tie my glory. Anywhere they tie my destiny. Anywhere they tie my best blessings. I release it now by fire, by fire, by the blood of Jesus. Somebody pray. Anywhere your blessings are tied down, anywhere your joy is tied down, anywhere your marital destiny has been hung, hung up and hijacked, we release it now by the blood of Jesus. Uh, your joy, your children, your health, uh, wherever has been tied down, your career, your appointment, anywhere it has been tied down, we command it to be released now. We command it to be released now on this altar in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Your glory. Anywhere your glory has been tied down, command it to be released now by fire, by the blood of Jesus, by fire, by the blood of Jesus. I lose my glory. I lose my destiny. I lose my helpers. I, I release them. Wherever your destiny helpers, your career helpers, financial helpers has been tied down. Those that will help you in destiny, those that will help you in life, those that will help you, marital helpers, may the Lord release them right now. Wherever they are tied down, wherever they are locked up, we release them now. Wherever your husband is tied down, we release him now. Wherever your wife is tied down, we release them now. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Yes, we command the release. Command the release. Your beauty, some of you, your beauty, your honor, your promotion. Wherever it is tied down, we release it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. We release it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. We untie it now by the power in the name of Jesus. The authority in our lips, sir, we exercise it over any system, over any demonic kingdom, over the water kingdom, over the marine kingdom, over the witchcraft system, sir. Whatever they use, sir, on you that has locked you up, that has closed your destiny, we open it now by the blood of Jesus. Be open, be open, be open. That door that is closer, be open, be open, be open, be open, be open by the blood of Jesus, somebody pray. That door, that door, that glory that have been locked up, we command it to be open. It is a warfare time, it is deliverance time. Command your glory to be released, command your promotion to be released, command your joy to be released, command your health to be released. Anywhere the kingdoms of darkness, anywhere they close your destiny, we open it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. We open it now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Sir. We open now in the name of Jesus. Sir. We take the key of the power of the Holy Ghost. We open every door. Open every door with your lips. 
by the power in the name of Jesus, I open every door that is closed against your destiny. I open every door that is closed against your health. I open every door that is closed against your joy. I open every door that is closed against your destiny. Open it now. Open it. Begin to enter. Begin to enter. Oh, some of you, you need to travel. I open that door. You will travel out of the country. I open that door. You will get that job opportunity. I open that door. That door of appointment. Ha! Ah, you will get that job. We unlock that door. We unlock that door. We unlock that door. We unlock that door. We open it now. In the name of Jesus. Enter and take your blessing. Enter and take your career. Enter and take your business. Some of you, your helpers, they are released. Your helpers, they are released to see you. They are released to locate you. In the name of Jesus. Begin to connect with them right now. Somebody pray. I connect with my helpers. Career helpers. Ministry helpers. Destiny helpers. Those that will help you in ministry. Those that will help you in career. Those that will help you in destiny. Those that will help you in finances. Those that will help you establish that company. Those that will help you establish that glory. Those that will help you get that blessings. Get that business. They get that visa. May the Lord release them. May the Lord release them unto you. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are. Divine helpers. Divine connection. We establish it in the realm of the spirit. Divine helpers. Divine connection. Begin to take anything that you want. Anything that you desire. It is coming to you. It is running to you. It is coming towards you. It is pursuing after you. Even when you are running from it. It will pursue you. It will overtake you. Your blessing will pursue you, overtake you. Your business will pursue you, overtake you. You will increase, you will multiply in that business. You will increase, you will multiply in that career. You will get profit in that business. You will get profit in that career. You will increase in that marriage. You will prosper, you will conceive, you will bring forth fruits. You will have your own children, you will have your own destiny. You will possess your possession. You will start that company. You will start that company. Oh, that contract is given to you. Some of you contracts are coming. That contract is being signed. Your name is on it. That business is being signed. Your name is on it. That, that appointment letter has been signed and released. Your name is on it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any opposition of your life. They are giving way now. Any opposition, any stumbling block, any hindrance before you, they are bowing out. They are chased away. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we hit down, we knock down, we strike every opposition, we bend them down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any opposition in your life, with the rod of the Spirit, we smite them. May they vacate your place. May they vacate from your life. May they vacate from that career. May they vacate from that business. Any opposition, any hindrance, any setback, all those forces that say they will not let you go, we smite them with the rod. We smite them with the rod. May they begin to disappear. May they begin to disappear. May they begin to disappear. Anything that has been a stumbling block, a hindrance in your life, a hindrance in your business, a hindrance in your career, they are giving way. They are giving way. Any demonic presence in your home, we smite them with the rod. We smite them with the rod. We release thousands of angels uh, in your room. We release thousands of angels uh, in your home, in your bedroom. They will fight for you. They will come against every opposition in your life. In the name of Jesus. Okay, so let's pray when I finish. Just come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Those forces that are wrestling against your joy. We pray right now. By the power in the name of Jesus. Let them begin to give way. Let them begin to give way. Look, some of you. The witches that have been fighting you. Everybody say by the rod of the Lord. Any witch or wizard. 
any witch or wizard that have been following me around, pursuing me, I hit their head with the rod of the spirit. I hit their head with the sword of the spirit. I smite their head. I hit their head. May blood begin to come out of their nose. Any witch or wizard that has refused to let you go all this while, we smite their head with the rod of the spirit. We smite their head with the rod of the spirit. We smite their head. Pray. Somebody pray. We bind them. We smite them. We smite them. We strike them in the spirit. Look, some of you witches have harassed you for a long time. You sleep and the witches come and sleep with you. Ah, they are witches. We smite them with the rod in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, wherever they are hiding, in the sea, in the waters, uh, let them receive the rod of the Lord. Uh, we smite them. We smite them. We strike them. In the name of Jesus, we strike them. We strike them. We strike them. In the name of Jesus, somebody begin to strike. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Those witches that say they will not let you go. We take the rod in the spirit. We hit their head. We smite their head. We smite their head. Let them flee and never return. Let them go and leave you alone. Let them go and leave your children alone. Let them go and leave your career alone. Any witch or wizard that is fighting you, fighting your destiny, sending snakes to you, sending serpents to you, sending lizards to you that are moving your body. We kill every lizard. We kill every lizard. We kill every snake. Right now on this altar, we judge the witches. We judge the wizards. We judge them by fire. We smite their head with the rod of the spirit. We smite their head with the rod of the spirit. We smite their head with the rod of the spirit. We smite their head in the name of Jesus. Hey. Somebody be aggressive. That which is that are putting sickness on you. That which is that are tormenting you every night. They are disgracing your Christianity. They are mocking your Christianity. We hit their head with the rod. We hit their head with the rod. We smite them. We smite them. In the name of Jesus. Some of them will run mad. They will never recover. Some of them will die in their sleep. They will not wake up. In the name of Jesus. Those witches that are out of your life, that are against you, we smite them. We smite them with the rod of the Spirit. We smite them. In the name of Jesus. We hit them. In the name of Jesus. Somebody begin to smite. Begin to strike any serpent. Any serpent. Any snake, any lizard, any cockroach, any animal in the spirit that the witches have sent to you, hey, kill them right now. Begin to kill them with the rod of the spirit. We kill every animal. We kill every lizard. We kill every snake. We kill every viper. Hey, some of you, the dogs that you see in your dream, you dream and you see a dog. We kill that dog. We hit that dog head. We kill it in the name of Jesus. Hey, the snakes that are moving your body, we kill them right now. We command them to begin to die. We command them to begin to die in the name of Jesus. Rakasoko balaya kata, baru sapale kata ya, zabra kateke balaya, rakatoko balagaziata. Hey, some of you, you have been going through sickness and affliction right now on this altar. We command that sickness, we command that affliction to flee out of your body. We retrieve that sickness wherever it has been sent from by the authority in the name of Jesus. Wherever that affliction came from, wherever that sickness came from, in your womb, in your heart, in your stomach, in your mind, we retrieve it now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We send it back to the owner in the name of Jesus. We take that sickness. Uh, we retrieve it from your body. We send it back to the ender in the name of Jesus. Look, wherever it came from, wherever that affliction came from, wherever that torment came from, wherever that demonic harassment is coming from, tonight they are under your feet. We bring them to judgment. We curse their kingdoms. We curse their activities. We curse their power. 
<coughs> begin to curse their kingdom. Begin to curse their altars. Begin to curse their altars. We lay fire on their altars. We destroy the altars in the waters that are fighting you, fighting me, fighting my ministry. We destroy those altars uh, that are calling my name, calling your name. Any evil altar calling your name. We command fire. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost uh, fall upon them now. Any altar that is calling your name. Any altar demanding your blood. Any altar demanding sickness. Demanding death in your body. We cast them now. We cast them now. We cast them now. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. I say it is warfare. Somebody fight. Take your destiny back. Fight those demons. Fight those witches. We stand by the blood. We curse their kingdoms. We stand by the blood. We curse their altars. We curse their hiding place. In the name of Jesus. We break their covenants by the blood of Jesus. Somebody pray. Any altar calling your name. Ancestral altar. Sangoma altar. Demonic altar. We get altar, which is altars. We set them on fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus. That altar of Sangoma, that altar of witchcraft, that altar of divination, that altar of sorcery, where they are looking at your life monitoring you hey begin to declare this one right now before we end any altar monitoring me monitoring my life monitoring my movement to destroy me to bring me down to hinder me to block my opportunities all you evil altar of monitoring spirit i curse you now i curse you now i curse you now i curse your evil eye begin to curse that evil eye Cast those evil eyes. We command those eyes to be blinded. Those satanic eyes. Those demonic eyes that are peeping into your destiny. Looking into your life. They are sitting in the village, but they are looking into your life. They are sitting in their room, but they are seeing you. They are looking at your life like a mirror. Oh Lord, any evil spirit, any monitoring spirit, monitoring my life, monitoring my glory, I command fire. I destroy that spirit. I judge that spirit in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I judge that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus. Somebody cast them now. Begin to cast them. Cast their existence now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Now, whatever that they are put on you, whether it is sickness, it is masturbation, it is fornication. Nightmare, begin to curse that thing right now. Curse them directly. You evil nightmare. You evil dream that I'm dreaming. You evil sex in the dream. You spirit that is behind it. I curse you now by the blood of Jesus. Uh, I curse your existence uh, from today. Move out of my life. Uh, you that sickness in my body. I command you, live now. I command you, live now. Somebody command you to live. Command that affliction to go. Command that poverty to go. Command that chain to break. That door that has closed against you, that almost everybody is rejecting you. That spirit of rejection. We cast it out now. We cast it out now. Anywhere you go, they are rejecting you. Anywhere you go, they are not seeing you. Right now, that cloak, that garment of rejection that they have used to cover your life, that garment of disappointment that they have used to cover your life, that you cannot stay with the husband, that no man is seeing any beauty in you. Today, let that garment catch fire. Let that garment catch fire. That garment of disfavor, that garment of disappointment, let it catch fire in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we cast that garment. 
catch fire. Sickness catch fire. Evil garment catch fire. Evil rope catch fire. Any rope that they have used to tie your hands, to tie your legs down, that you cannot move to another place, that you cannot move to the next level in life. Any chain in your leg, any rope in your leg, any spider web on your face, any spider web on your destiny, let them begin to be destroyed by fire. Any witchcraft chains, demonic fetus, chains and fetus, fetus in the spirit, ropes in the spirit that they have used to tie you. Any symbol of a toy or a doll that they have used to mention your name and represent you to that doll, to that toy and tie you down. Right now, we command fire to fall upon those demonic tools, to fall upon those demonic things that they used to represent you in the demonic kingdom. We release you now by fire. On this altar, I release you. On this altar, I command your freedom. On this altar, I set you free. I remove your soul from the waters. I remove your soul from the marine kingdom. I remove your soul from the demonic kingdom. I remove your soul from the witchcraft initiation. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you experience amazing testimonies. Hallelujah. You are going to experience amazing testimonies after today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Last week, we prayed here. Some people receive amazing testimonies. Some receive business opportunities. I, you remember I declared that some of you are going to get appointment. Some of your business are going to... It's happening already. Hallelujah. God is working. Somebody say, God is working. Yes. There are testimonies in our midst. I believe that there are people who have received their, their testimonies already because last week we prayed brutally here. The way we are doing here, that's how we were doing last week. Some people have received their testimonies. Some people are rejoicing. Some people are, look, you to your own is going to happen. Embrace Jesus Christ. Follow Jesus. Pursue Jesus. That's our scripture. John chapter 8 verse 12. When you go back, begin to meditate on that scripture. Look at it. Read it again slowly. Don't be in a hurry. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whosoever that follow me shall no longer walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. When you read that scripture, be angry and said, how can I follow Jesus and be in darkness? How can I follow Jesus and carry sickness about? How can I follow Jesus and be in darkness and be in the marine kingdom? How can I follow Jesus and be in the satanic kingdom? No way! I reject the marine kingdom. I reject sickness. I reject witchcraft. Begin to make violent declarations in your room. And you will see testimonies upon testimonies. Hallelujah. I want you to lift up your oil if you have it with you. Lift it up. We are going to pray and anoint ourselves right now. Look. This is an altar of fire. That old oil that is in your hand, may that oil become fire. Always, when we join here, come along with your oil. Let it be by you. Lift it up anywhere you are. If you don't have oil, just if you have water with you, just lift that water up right now. And begin to declare, Lord, I turn this oil in my hands to fire. I turn it into the blood of Jesus Christ. This oil in my hands is anointed with fire. It shall consume darkness. It shall consume sickness. It shall destroy anything that the devil has planted against my life. Planted against my glory. This oil in your hand, this water in your hand, will destroy Satan and his evil works. Satan and his evil power. Demons and witchcraft. Satanic works. Diabolic works. Anything that the enemy has planted against you, any altar that is speaking against you, tonight we engage the blood of Jesus. We engage the altar of the blood of Jesus and we declare that by the power of the covenant in the blood, we declare victory over darkness. We declare victory over witchcraft. We declare victory over demons. We declare victory over unclean spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
As that oil land on your head, deliverance begin to happen. Breakthrough begin to happen. Sickness begin to leave your body. Affliction begin to leave your body. Those unclean spirits begin to move out of you. That sickness, that pain in your body will disappear. That affliction in your womb will disappear. That affliction in your body will disappear. That setback, that limitation, that door will swing open. As you anoint yourself, they will call you. The email will come through. Your visa will be released. Your green card will be granted. Some of you, you receive favors that you don't even think about. Favor that you have not bargained for will look for you. Appointment business opportunities that you have not meditated about, they are coming to you. In the name of Jesus, as I anoint myself, I declare breakthrough. Somebody anoint yourself and say, I declare breakthrough. I declare favor. I declare grace. I declare greatness. I declare open doors. Begin to declare. I declare deliverance, healing, divine protection. You will escape every arrow from the pit of hell. You will escape the weapons of darkness. They will not manifest. It will not materialize. Anything that the enemy will throw at you, it will bounce back to the owner. It will go and hit their own head. In the name of Jesus, whoever that will send a spell against you after tonight, that spell will go back to their own head and destroy them. Anybody that will make any curse in the secret place about you, that curse will go back to them in the name of Jesus. Anybody that will call your name to kill you, to destroy you, as they mention your name and as they point the sword or the arrow to you, may it enter their own heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, Whoever that dig a pit for you, they shall enter that pit. We push them into their own pit by this anointing that is coming upon your head. By this water that you are blessed right now. May the Lord change your situation. May the Lord change your condition. May the Lord reverse every curse. May the Lord reverse every sickness. May the Lord reverse every arrow that they send to you. May it go back to them. Any affliction that they send to you, it will go back to them. And any snake, any python, any cobra, anything that has swallowed your blessing, put that oil on your head. That snake, that demon, that spirit, they will vomit your blessing right now. In the name of Jesus. They are vomiting it now. They are vomiting it now. Any blessing of yours that is in the marine kingdom, they are releasing it right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Any blessing of yours that is tied down in any witchcraft coven, it is coming out right now by the blood of Jesus. Yes, it is released by the blood of Jesus. Your appointment is released. Your joy is released. Your children, anybody that have laid their filthy hands on your children to destroy them. Right now, as we pray, may the judgment of God fall upon any demonic entity, any satanic human being, or man, woman, witches, Anybody that has stretched their evil hands towards your children, we command judgment against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah. May your life be blessed. May you receive divine turn around. May the joy of the Lord fill your home as you put that oil on your head. May favor, the crown of favor come upon you. A crown of favor. Let that oil bring a crown of favor. As that oil drop upon your head, the crown of favor, unusual favor, is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. No more rejection. No more rejection. No more rejection. No more rejection. Some of you have gone through disappointment in marriage. Before this year ends, your way will be clear. Your husband will come through. Your wife will come through. You will meet your promised man. You will meet your promised woman. You will meet your promised partner. That business that you are looking for is coming to you. Look, opportunities are availing themselves by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we declare your way is open. In Jesus' mighty name. Put that oil on your head and declare, I am blessed. Put that oil on your head and say, Oh, yes. I see testimonies coming. I see testimonies coming. I see testimonies coming. I see testimonies coming. You are blessed. 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 
Yes, I see testimonies happening. I see testimonies happening. Turn around in your life. Turn around in your life. In Jesus' name, I'll pray for you.